Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode was one of the best episodes in the series, not the season, in the series. It's like one of the best episodes, like it blew my mind like in so many ways. And uh, like they really was able to surprise us. Not like I got surprised two times, not once. Like it's usually a big uh, like credit for the uh, the people who are like doing the anime, who like the author and everyone, for them to be able to like surprise someone in an episode at least one time. Like it's a big credit in itself. But they were able to do it two times. I'm not sure about you guys, but I got surprised two times. The first time was when like uh, like we got to know that uh, the Russians were not f like looking for. Um, uh, Wilk and his teammates, but the, the like the Japanese man who is Surumi, and later on the, another surprise came in when we got to know that that was Surumi. So like damn, like that was one of the best episodes I've seen in the series itself. Like uh, season one and two were great, but this episode in season three like tops each and every episode. Like I was really impressed by that episode. So yeah. <laughs> So anyways guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 10 of Golden Kamui, season 3. Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> oh, um, that's a seal? I like... Confuse myself like seal and walrus. That's a seal, isn't it? Anyways Yeah seal, okay Damn that's a fat seal <laughs> Reindeer reindeer it's Christmas Okay. Wait, uh, when are they supposed to break Sophia out? What, like, what are they doing? <laughs> Hunting for food. Like, like this is amazing. One thing amazing about Golden Kamui is that, like, even though it's all serious, it is able to like, uh, like retain the comedy and um the what can I say? Like the whole thing about like hunting for food, good food. Like this, like Golden Kamui is mostly food. Like, <laughs> like fifty percent food and fifty percent other stuff. Uh, <laughs> like I learned a lot of like, um, like uh, uh, like what are they called? Um, old like old food people that like the Ainus that they used to like eat, like Chitadap. That's that's the iconic thing about Golden Kamui Chitadap. Okay. Like season two, the opening was like fifty percent of it was like food. <laughs> like that's funny, man. Like <laughs> they're here, like fighting for death for golden, like uh, to get the gold. But at the same time, they are also like having a great time, eating new food, looking at new places. Okay. Okay, here it is, Aqua Prison. <sighs> the security is quite low, like there's no one guarding the place, like... Oh yeah, there, there. Okay. Hmm. Wow, good camouflage. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Rate of the Tari. Hmm. 
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. But Ashipa never saw Sophia. No, yeah. How will she like rem Oh, most probably like uh Sophia will tell things about Wilk to get to remember because of that. That might be it. Yeah, and Sophia was like all sleeping. <laughs> no fear in the world. Okay, this one thing I'm like uh, noticing. What's with the like half shaven? Like, is that something in like prisons? I'm not sure. Okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Should I see? Oh, it. What happened? Oh, it didn't blow. Oh no. Damn, like it's messing up the whole thing from the beginning. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Okay. Yeah, like all of them are like half shaven. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. <laughs> this this lady, man. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's like only one exit, so it will be a problem. Yeah. Oh no. What was that? Oh my god. This is a freaking tiger. They have tiger as guards in this prison? What? Wait a minute. Which entrance did they... Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, uh... Yeah... Oh yeah... Oh! My god... Oh, oh boy, look at it. Yeah, like this is a problem. Oh my god. So if I won't do that, I think. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh my Wow. Don't. Oh, okay. But this god is trying to kill you, so... <laughs> okay, they got it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, get out of there. Ah, here she is! Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, I think you should probably get out from here. Like uh this is in the middle of a war zone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, okay. Uh, that was a hard slap.
Okay, let's see. Yeah, like there were no guards in here, like a few of them. Oh, there they are now. Um, I don't think I. I think maybe they disguised as them. Mm, yeah, these guys are dumb. Wait, are they really Nifk? I thought maybe they were disguised as them. Oh yeah, they were really okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, they're kind of like uh, wearing the disguise, but still. Okay, okay she cannot understand. Uh, yeah. Whistle so Japanese was bad when she was. Uh. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> mm. and fish skins <laughs> so wilk kind of like okay Okay, so Wilk was the like reason behind her like becoming a revolutionary. Yeah, Wilk like looks at people like they're like nothing. Lose to the uh, are we done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So she was kind of, like he was kind of behind it all of them like Wilk for the like a uh, motivation for the Okay, they came here a bit too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah like it's almost there like Come on. Wait. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, run! <laughs> run for your life! Okay. Oh, they don't have the like whole uh, like tigers are gods. It's kind of so they are like shooting them. Uh, the tiger. Yep. They're like, yeah. Okay. Well, your hunch is right. So better hurry. Wait, I don't want them to hurry. I want them to like meet Ashripa and Sugimoto. So yeah, take take your time. <laughs> Toilet. Toilet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As always, you guys. Uh, oh! What the? Jesus!
Yeah, I'll freeze to death. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's also, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, like. Wait. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, are they really going to meet here? Come on, let's see. Wait. Wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. But I think that is the more human thing, like, the thing that Wilk did, like, I know that thing is needed for this kind of a world, like, in war, like, like, filled war, world, but... I don't know, it kind of makes me conflicted. <sighs> like obviously because like it's peace. We're in peace times, so Yeah, I get it. Like the thing that he is saying, pity and kindness is. Then, then where does this like does that doesn't mean that we doesn't deserve to live? Milk. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh, 
Okay, I get it. Where he, like why he killed that guy? That's why he liked wolves. Okay, so what is the actual meaning of it? Virok. Yeah, who, who is their mom? We never got to see anything about Ashipa's mom, did we? Only heard. Okay. Orko, Oscar. Orko, it's kind of similar to catching up to the world. Oh yeah, Horokyo. And now Ashirpa. Okay. Wait, is this related to the secret that Ashipa has in her mind? If she remembered, didn't she? Oh no. Oh Gata. Ah. Uh. Okay, Shiraishi, you're in deep trouble now. <laughs> oh, good job! Yeah, it saved him. Damn. Yup. Yo. And it broke. Okay. Okay, who saved him? Wait, is this... Yes! Finally! <laughs> okay, I, I really hope... <laughs> he gets to see Ashipa sooner. Like, yeah, they're almost there. Okay, okay. Damn. I, di I, I really had no... What can I say? Uh, like, hope of them, like, meeting in this season. But I think they're going to meet. Won't they? Like... This is almost at the end, so most probably in the final or the penultimate episode. Okay. Wow. Okay, a few things I have to talk about in this episode. The beliefs that Wilk had. Now, I don't know, like, he is correct. Like, thinking about it logically, like, logically I'm talking about. But if you, like, include emotions in that logic then i don't know the thing that wilk believed and everything that really does not like match well like uh, mix well because like i don't know like <laughs> the thing that he did like he like killed the guy who was kind of like uh dragging them down and like like, like, I know that uh, the guy would probably not, like, survive if, even if they, like, did their best and, like, tried to save him. Now, here's the thing. Now, here's the thing that uh, would have actually happened if 
they like decided to save that guy okay and okay so yeah if wilk somehow thought that yeah let us just save this guy and kept him alive this is what would have happened and it would have been a bit more like uh bad like it would be worse than it like the result that wilk got after killing him the thing that would have happened is like he would have been saved but uh like most probably the pursuers would uh like like would understand where they are more quicker and they would like because obviously that guy is dragging them down they won't be able to like run fast and uh like a lot of things because of that most probably they would get into a fight and they would lose other members who are perfectly fine just to save that guy maybe like if like just to save that guy two of the other guys would die and ultimately he would have been saved but at the cost of the other two people who are completely like fine now like this is more uh, like the question which we usually get in anime a lot of times that is to save one we do like uh, like what like a lot of people will get killed if you like try to save one so would you abandon him uh, to uh, like save the majority or will you like hold on to your pride uh, not pride but hold on to your uh, morality and try to save him and let the other people die now this is like the question now there's no correct answer to this like if you say that yeah i will like save the one guy and uh, also try to like uh, save the other guys but if they uh, are like i'm unable to save them then like he like you, you won't have any answer like there's no answer to this like it's a quite complex question like you're seeing someone in front of you dying and if someone suddenly says that yeah if you save this guy the other guy two or three more other guys will be killed so what what should you do in that situation like this is a very tough question so but if you like say that yeah i will like um abandon him save the other like this is like a greater good thing like i'm like doing one bad thing for the greater good if you do that it will kind of make you uh like i don't know feel guilty about the whole situation it will probably like haunt you and it will like uh i don't know it's like it will kind of make you feel bad about the whole situation and it will be like like it, it's a bad thing so the situation is similar here now i'm saying that yeah the thing that wilk did is probably like logically correct but at the same time uh, if you like take in emotions and that uh, this kind of the bad thing that he did now here's the thing i'm not uh, like saying that wilk did what wilk did was wrong the my concern here is like when he killed the guy i don't know he like the way he talks the way he like does things for example when like he killed the guy sofia who was like just beside him and also like uh like uh kiroranke they were like first of all they're surprised obviously like she he like suddenly took up his like knife and like sliced his throat just like that like kiroranke was surprised sofia was surprised then they got to understand what he was actually doing and why he was doing then they kind of like understood the whole thing and they like scrunched their face and had a regret in their eyes but wilk did not now here is the thing that i'm talking about like this is my like a point here like if wilk killed him but at the same time like uh, like felt regret remorse and felt sad for that i would have understood the whole situation but the way he suddenly like took up his knife and just slashed his throat like that with like some kind of like no emotions with an inhuman kind of like way he, he like he's doing this like logically like he's working with logic like he's seeing the situation like this he's calculating that yeah this is happening we sh i should probably do this for the greater good and like he doesn't even like think about it emotionally just takes up his knife and kills the guy like, this is more like a kind of a game of chess for him like he is sacrificing a, a pawn to like win the battle like when you sacrifice a pawn you do not feel guilty for that obviously so this is the same for wilk i think like he he's he's simply like doing everything for the greater good without any kind of i don't know like human emotions so this is my like the thing that i wanted to say like if he killed him with and after killing him felt regret for that felt sad for him felt bad 
then it would have been like okay i get your like predicament i get what you like your like the situation and i understand you had to do it but like the way he did it i don't know like maybe he is good at hiding his emotions that might also be it if that is really the case then i'll have to say like he is a very strong man and then i then my obviously my uh, like opinion about wilk would be uh, like would become better but i don't know like we know barely know anything about wilk we only know wilk from ashipa's things and obviously wilk uh, like loved ashipa liked uh, loved her because she is her daughter but like he he loved her like his family members and all and his friends but the way he like like handled the situation i don't know <laughs> like i feel a bit conflicted about that so yeah and also like um <clears throat> when he saw the wolf like i get it like he uh like saw this wolf and saw the other uh, like wolves what they did to him and he thought that yeah that is a beautiful way of living like uh <clears throat> so he like he made up his not made up his mind but he uh, started to like uh imitate the way the wolf lived and like he became a man that he was but i don't know like whenever like like if it was me yeah, if i was like in this situation wilk was and i went to a forest and saw that yeah there's a wolf sitting there and i every day went to see the wolf i would have gotten attached to kind of attached to the wolf seeing him every day and then if suddenly i see a pack of wolves coming in and killing him and going away i wouldn't feel what wilk was feeling wilk felt like yeah this is so beautiful they like killed him because uh, for the greater good for the good of their uh, like pack and so he uh, like decided to become like the wolf beautiful and like uh, majestic i would definitely not feel like that i'd feel sorry for the wolf i'd feel sad for the wolf because obviously i i'm going to see the wolf for so many days i'm kind of attached to the wolf so like seeing him suddenly like die like that i kind of would have hated the other wolf pack i would have feel uh, angry at them and at the same time i would feel sad and like dis- like sad for the uh, like wolf who got, who died like at least i would feel this way and i think a lot of people would also feel this way so i'm not sure is this naivety like is this like uh like in a war like filled world this might be naivety like we are living in a peaceful like world so obviously like we do not think like the the way wilk thought we think a lot more like um uh what can i say like non hostile way like not not non hostile way what is that word like in a peaceful manner we like um Uh, like think of every situation and decide uh, like the decisions that we take all like conditioned because we are living in a peaceful world so who knows maybe like but no obviously like hiranke and um sofia were also dis- like really surprised at that thing so yeah i kind of think like wilk has this kind of a i don't know like problem no not a problem but he is like this i think like this is just what makes him so yeah like i am quite conflicted at the way wilk sees the world and the way he and the way like sofia is glorifying him like like sofia is like talking as if like uh yeah like wilk is like one of the like best people out there like i get it like he like spent a lot of time with wilk and got to see how he lived and maybe she felt that yeah this is the way to live properly like obviously like there is a lot of things happening in this world like uh, as as they said there are a lot of problems like uh, people being mistreated and everything so maybe like the way wilk lived in that situation maybe that was like something which was uh, a shining example of like how to become to live in this world properly and rightfully so maybe i don't know but yeah like um but when uh like we got to see wilk in uh, like in the like prison later on when like he came out and sugimoto got to see him i thought maybe milk changed i'm not sure but i just feel like maybe he changed after the, all of that because like when he talked with sugimoto and when he got to know that yeah uh, ashipa is here the way his like eyes shone like shined 
and the way uh, like he reacted to it even though like his face were barely recognizable i could see a lot of emotions in that face like the face we see in the like flashbacks there are barely any emotions in that face he is like hollowly looking at the world like, his eyes are empty so like when he like uh, like in the prison we when we got to see him from the first time that face which was like beyond recognizable held a lot more emotion than the face that we are always seeing in the flashbacks so i don't know like uh, like uh, time changes people and maybe he got to see like i don't know anyways uh, like i'm like all like th like thinking a lot more about this but i don't this is just my opinion like i think like uh like this is just my like way of thinking the way like i really do not um i cannot sympathize with the way wilk saw the world like his opinion like his way of looking at the world and my way of looking at the world completely different so that's the reason why like i wanted to like share this with you so it's just my opinion like who knows maybe uh in like uh, in the past when they were like living Maybe the way we live was the correct way to live. So maybe if like a person like me with my like way of like the world viewing uh, went into that situation, maybe he would have like um, un been un unable to survive. He would have been able to survive for like one or two months in that like harsh environment. So yeah, maybe that was the way. Who knows? Anyways, so, yeah, I really <laughs> talked a lot about this like. Thing. anyways uh, uh the episode the episode was um yeah it was quite good like we got to see the tiger i was not expecting that at all <laughs> wow like um yeah and sophia like well like trying to go and fight the tiger but thankfully she did not like i like doubt she would have like uh like been uh like not hurt her like fighting with the tiger so she would have definitely got injured but yeah thankfully and oh another thing i wanted to say like uh yeah as i said like each and every prisoner had half of their like head shaven like is something like they do in prison i'm not sure like at at the first, like at the beginning when we saw in one of the episodes when like she was well in, in disguise and doing stuff i thought maybe that was a disguise he was using like one half with the hair and everything because like who knows <laughs> i thought there was a disguise but turns out like all of the people were like had like half shaven hair like head so i'm not sure like what that actually means or does it actually mean something maybe it is just something like they did to the prisoners so who knows if there is something like some uh, like more like meaning towards that please be sure to like inform me in the comments because I really am quite curious about this like half shaved head kind of situation. Okay, yeah, and yeah, what else was in this episode? Let's see. Oh, and <clears throat> Sugimoto almost like almost reached his destination that is like Ashiripa. And I'm not sure would they like really meet now. Here's how this can go. Like maybe he like he met with Shir, uh, Shiraishi, and um, like over there, like uh, like uh, in Ashipa's team, um, there's a bit like further now. Shiraishi would definitely like say like talk with uh, like Sugimoto and tell him that yeah they're like just in front of you. So he'd probably like start hurrying. Now uh, here's it where the way it can go. Like maybe somehow ogata and his team would take ashipa and run and somehow like uh, run from them and they would like take again like a few months to meet like maybe we won't get to see ashipa and sugimoto meeting in this season that way it can happen or the other way which is like plain and simple sugimoto would somehow be able to like meet with ashipa in this season like that's the main thing like will Sh As like sugimoto and ashipa meet in this season or in the future seasons that's the main thing like i really want them to meet in this season so yeah and uh, okay what else oh another thing when sophia was uh, like talking with like aship and telling him about like wilk's past and the way uh, like wilk lived and the name uh, like the uh, like the name that um, wilk's uh, uh, wife that is like ashipa's mother gave to wilk 
the Ainu name. When all of these things came in, she like maybe put the dots together and like under like and remembered what he was actually he was actually supposed to remember the secret of the gold and maybe some kind of a clue not clue but some kind of yeah a clue as to how to get to the gold or something and that uh was noticed by ogata <laughs> i don't know like how this will go let's see <laughs> uh like ogata is a pretty damn like intelligent guy so he will like understand like like he would like notice it sooner or later but he got it so quickly like whenever like ashripa suddenly like kind of when she was she was thinking she suddenly like uh made this facial expression like ah i remembered and ogata with his eyes like saw him see he saw her and thought that yeah ashripa remembered and now i don't know what ogata will do whether he will directly ask Ashripa or like talk to his teammates first then um Ashripa but if like Sugimoto like uh, comes uh, like quicker then nothing would be the problem Sugimoto and Ashripa will meet and everything will be okay and I don't know what uh, Ogata would probably do in that situation Miss probably like try to fight with Sugimoto then if like uh, he's unable to do anything he would probably like run away that's the only way I, I think is like uh, after like facing off with Sugimoto yeah like there's like Kirodanke and Ogata in their team and in like Sugimoto's team there is like Tsukishima, Koito, uh, Tanigaki, Sugimoto, wow four of them and Ryu the dog as well so yeah yeah I think like uh, they should probably run <laughs> like and also Shiraishi, Shiraishi is kind of in like Sugimoto's team he was like uh like in Ashripa's team just to keep an eye on her yeah so yeah guys uh this was um episode number 10 so i can feel it we're almost there <laughs> yeah i really want them to meet in this season i really hope they do so like like no more cliffhangers please like season 2 was like the end of season 2 was a big kind of a big cliffhanger cliffhanger in itself so i really don't want any more cliffhangers please like uh, when in the like season ends we'll have to like again wait for like four four or five months for on the season uh, when it like airs i'm sure they will make another season because obviously this uh, like anime has three seasons so and it's quite popular in japan so they'll like probably do more and i'm really glad for that like this is one of the best shows i've ever seen so yeah guys um this was episode number uh 10 of golden kamui so yeah uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say about this uh episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out um so yeah uh, so yeah guys um i'll be back with a new golden kamui episode uh next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day